Just got done recording everything for the unboxing video and I'm too excited to not go fly it now. So even though it's pitch black out, I'm gonna go fly it. I'm going to record everything through the setup process for the drone and kind of gather my reaction and uh, then get some shots in my first flight. going through an agreement it's asking me to connect to Wi-Fi I can make a hotspot if I need to an update is required this touch screen works really well okay here's the deal I'm back I had to go update the controller it didn't take long to update it's just that I have like next to no service where I am right now so I couldn't do the hotspot and now that it's updated it's asking me to pair it is so cool watching that gimbal work. Okay, it says I need to power it off and then hold the button for eight seconds in order to pair it. Another update is required, this time for the drone. Let's see if I can get any hotspot. I will admit this whole having to have Wi-Fi in order to update everything, in order to use this, Somewhat of a paradox. Well, that's cool. There's the lights. Oh, the drone's been updated. To complete the install, the da -da -da, got a reboot. It'll automatically reboot now. What's going on now is I'm having to log in with my account. I don't know my account password. Going through some marketing, basically. Okay, now here is the flight sim simulator. The right joystick is for motion of the drone once it's in the air. Forward, backwards, left, right. The left joystick is for up and down, so altitude and uh, rotation. These, are, these two buttons here are for starting and stopping the camera and changing the modes and using the highlight tag. This tilt wheel is to adjust the camera on the gimbal. I'm getting an error that says compass interference. Move to a new location or recalibrate. I'm guessing I just gotta recalibrate. I'm not sure how to. Okay, I'm gonna recalibrate it. Point the nose upward with the propellers facing you, turn slowly in a circle. As it was. safe mode or easy mode something like that it seems very slow on the live stream not that the live live stream is slow it just seems like the, the actual drone moves slow 